up you guys so today is my first haul video I'm really excited to bring you guys this video it's been a long time coming but your girl has been shopping non-stop for the past couple of months and it's a little ridiculous I need to take an effin chill pill like my bank account is like girl who the hell do you think we are <laughs> nonetheless <clears throat> I was able to get a lot of cute stuff this month so I wanted to show you guys what all I have bought over the uh, time span of like a couple of months so let's go ahead and hop into it so um the first thing I got was this bag from H&M <laughs> and it was on sale it was only like $15 so I really could not resist because Honestly, these are one of the bags that I probably wouldn't pay full price for, but like for $15, girl, this is a cute bag and it's already like heavy because I already have my stuff in it because um, I'm already using it. But yes, I really do like this bag. It's very well made. It's this, uh, I don't know if the camera is picking up on its true color, but it's like a peachy red color. Honestly, this is like more for spring. I guess if you want to follow the fashion rules but for me this is perfect for fall because I love adding a pop of color um, in the fall to a really like neutral or black centric outfit so yeah this is the first thing I got and I have been enjoying this lovely handbag so we're gonna keep on with the theme of handbags so I was at Target and I found these cute 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 adorable little handbags at Target. They're so little and they're so adorable. I've already used the yellow one, which is low-key my favorite because <laughs> I love wearing yellow if we have not picked up on this already <laughs> for my channel. But I really enjoy this purse. It's so cute. I got this on sale. I found it on clearance for $5. So I got both of these bags together for like $10. So, I mean, that's not a bad deal, especially considering, like, the original price was, like, $20, I believe. Right, so next up are these shoes I got from Forever 21. They are these leather red ankle boots that I have been eyeing for God knows how long. They have this circle detail that I have been a really big fan of this fall season because these are really, like, in trend right now. I mean on train right now um these little circle details on boots so i saw this like several times when i went into forever 21 i was just like debating i was just like oh should i get it should i not but honestly i'm really happy i did i really really love these boots they're so cute and they're perfect for fall especially considering that red is such a on train color right now like red is pretty much the color for fall <laughs> Uh, well, at least in my opinion, that's all I've been seeing is red stuff. So I definitely had to pick up these shoes. They were like $35 or something like that. So they weren't bad. The next pair of shoes that I got are actually from Public Desire. And y'all, <laughs> these shoes are so intense. But I love, I love how extreme they are. These are these white platform boots from public desire Oof, lord from public desire i've been eyeing these boots in particular for like a month and they were always sold out in my size like i signed up for the email notifications and everything like yo i was gonna get my hands on these boots like if god so help me like a couple of weeks ago just for you know shits and giggles i just clogged onto public desire to see if like because I didn't get an email about it yet, so I was like, you know, let me just go on the website and see. And sure enough, there was a size 9. Yes, I, I wear a size 9. Um, there was a size 9 boot available. One, <laughs> one pair was left. And so I bought the last pair of these boots on Public Desire. So if you have been pressed about these white boots and you wear a size 9, I'm sorry. I am the culprit for it them being sold out again but uh, god I love them they're just so they're just so extra for no for no fucking reason like I showed my sister and she was like are you planning to like wear that out <laughs> in public I was like um yes <laughs> the next pair of shoes are also platforms I don't know if I'm having like a platform 
theme for this fall and winter season. But regardless, I got these white platform sneakers from Forever 21. And I am in love with these sneakers. Like, they remind me, they give me such Fenty Puma vibes, you know? Like, for the low. <laughs> They're a nice little dupe for the white shoes that are in Rihanna's collection. They were like $25, I think. Like, I got these, I got, I bought these online. I didn't buy these in store. I got it shipped to me, um, to my house. But, um, yeah, they weren't bad. They were pretty affordable. So they are a nice little dupe to the Fenty Puma uh, white shoes. I really, really love these. I cannot wait to rock these. I have so many outfits in mind. Low-key, I could probably wear it with the outfit I'm wearing right now because they're white. So they can go about anything I put my little heart and mind to. So, yeah, I'm really excited for these shoes. They're very cute. They're very on trend. Um... And they're, I mean, they're platforms. I have, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of platform shoes, I guess. I don't know. But yes, I, I'm digging these shoes and I cannot wait to rock them. They're definitely going to get worn the hell out of <laughs> this season. Next up, I mean, these are pretty self-explanatory. Like, they're not, nothing really much to talk about. But these are some fishnet socks that I also got from Fur 21. I got one in red and then I got another one in black. I mean, you style these however you would like. Me, personally, I'm going to wear these socks with, like, ankle boots. So, probably, like, boyfriend tight jeans um, or jeans or pants that are kind of, like, rolled up or something like that. And I'm going to wear, like, this, uh, uh, this fishnet sock exposed and wear a matching boot with it. So, I'm really excited. Like, I think... Mm, quite possibly these ones together I don't know we'll see I'll think about it <laughs> next up I got this bandu top from bando bandu band whatever however the you pronounce it tomato tomato I got this top from a brand called legendary roots I'm pretty sure you guys are already familiar with legendary roots if you are subscribed to my channel which you definitely should be because I did a collaboration video with them um, where I styled denim jackets around a shirt that they gave me. Um, they're a pro-black type of brand. Like, they have a lot of political messages on their um, on their clothing, but they also have some fun stuff like um, this bandeau top, for example. I got this from them. It just says "baby girl" on it in old English text and in pink. Um, to be honest, I, I wasn't expecting it to, like, look the way it did in terms, I guess I expected it to be, like, cotton, like, all cotton, um, you know, not, like, this, uh, stretchy, like, I don't even, I don't even know what this is, like, stretchy nylon material, I guess you could say, but, um, either way, it's still a cute top, and I still intend on wearing it, um, I'm definitely gonna be pairing it <laughs> with these boots somehow, in some kind of way, it's going down. <laughs> But yeah, this is the top I got from Legendary Roots with my own money. They did not give it to me. I bought it, so yes. Alright, so for the next um, piece that I picked up from Forever 21, if you haven't noticed, Forever 21 is one of my favorite stores. Not to sound basic as hell, but I mean, they're one of the few stores that carry plus size clothing at affordable prices that don't have me looking like someone's grandma. So, I mean, kill me, but... Yeah, I shop at Forever 21 a lot, but I mean, as long as you know how to put an outfit together, you won't look so basic, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter where you shop, if you got style, you got style, and you'll make it work somehow. But anyways, um, so I have been pressed, so pressed, <laughs> about this skirt, this leather skirt. Ha oh God, I have been like, just like the white platform boots, like I have been dying to get my hands on this skirt I saw it on the website and it was sold out of course because everyone else wants this uh skirt and this is in the plus size section by the way but um but I did find it online it was still sold out online but I was coincidentally at my local forever 20 forever 21 store and just by chance I come across the skirt and I felt 
I gasped. <laughs> the girl who worked at the store kind of looked at me like, what is wrong with you? But like, I was just so surprised to actually see this skirt in the store. Like, I was like, whoa, like, come on, bro. Look at God. He knew. I mean, she knew. Whatever. <laughs> God knew that I needed the skirt in my life. And so I'm so excited to be. Oh, and these, listen, this is definitely, this is definitely going to happen. <laughs> this is definitely going to happen so i'm really excited about this skirt i'm so <laughs> next up is um this dress that i got from forever 21 plus size um and it is i think it's potentially my new year's eve outfit i don't know yet we'll see but it is this um silver beaded dress i don't know the camera is really picking it up all that well but it's this silver beaded dress and I you know like as a plus size girl like I don't know sometimes I get intimidated <laughs> when I find clothes that I'm, clothes that I'm like oh wow this is really cute but it's like I don't know <laughs> it's kind of past my little comfort zone of how much I want to expose because I mean like don't get me wrong I love my body and everything but it's still like you have to. I have to think about you know people being stupid. You know, being rude to me when I wear stuff that's pretty revealing. But who cares? Who gives a fuck? Fuck them anyway. But anyways, this dress is so cute. Um, and you rarely find where well, I rarely find a dress like this for plus size girls. Definitely like the neck is actually like a beaded necklace like I don't know if you guys can catch that but it's actually a chain that you connect around your neck and then it also has a draping neckline and it's very flattering especially when you're heavily endowed in the chest area so um yeah it's very flattering and then the back kind of goes down a little bit in the back but I do love this dress. I do and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wear it for New Year's Eve. I think I'm gonna wear it with like a leather jacket, um, like a black leather motor jacket, or maybe a silver leather jacket if we don't want to be predictable, and some silver minimalist sandal shoes probably. It's probably what I would wear with this dress. But either way, I am so excited about this dress because it's definitely a risk to take for a plus size girl but I mean look at it <laughs> it's a risk worth taking so yeah that's probably gonna be my New Year's Eve outfit next up is actually a sweater that I got from H&M so not um, forever 21 this time <laughs> but this is the sweater um, it's plain in the front like it's just a plain cream sweater in the front but then there's a party on the back <laughs> and it says get off my back I don't really <laughs> I don't really have any I don't know if there's like a significant meaning behind the saying or not I just know that I like the sweater and I do intend on wearing these uh, red boots with this sweater I think it's cool I love it I mean, you can also twist it into a street harassment type of thing. Like, don't look at my, you know, backside. I don't know. I'm reaching. Anyways, <laughs> it's a cute sweater. So that's all that matters. So, yeah. H&M. And it was like $50. <laughs> but I was really, I really wanted a sweater. So I just decided to splurge. Usually I wouldn't spend no $50 on no dumb sweater, but, you know. I was like, oh, whatever, let's just get this over with. Let me just go ahead and buy it. Right, last thing up, fashion-wise, is this jacket that you guys have probably already seen on my channel. Um, I wore it at Afropunk Fest in Atlanta, um, if you saw my vlog. But it is this denim jacket that I got from, uh, I can't remember. I think it's either Shein or Romney. It's one of the two. I know I'm going to link it down below. Um, I got it in an extra large. Um, but I really, I saw this jacket and I thought, wow, this jacket is really unique. Like, 
The back is definitely not something you would expect. Um, I like that it has this picture of Tupac and this floral design, um, old school like western font on the back side. I thought it was pretty creative. Um, it's funny because my word to Afropunk, uh, a number of people thought I actually made the jacket, which I was pretty flattered by. But I was like, no, I didn't make it. I bought it. So, <laughs> but yeah, this is um, the jacket that I got from there, and this is the jacket that I wore to Afropunk. It also has other words written on it. It has like, what does it say over here? So that was it for fashion. But now let's hop into beauty. This past week, last week was my birthday. So I got a Sephora gift card. So when I got my gift card, I went and got um, a palette that I have been eyeing for a long time and people rave about it all the time and I got the modern renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly, Beverly Hills I haven't really been able to use it yet that much um so I haven't like as you see like I barely have touched it but then again I've only had it for like a week so I mean you can't expect for me to do too much I got it because I wear a lot of neutral colors, a lot of warm neutral colors in terms of makeup. So that's why I got this palette. It was between this and the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. And oh my god, y'all, I was like in Sephora about to have a meltdown because I'm just like, ah, they're both cute. Like I just can't, I can't deal. But I am glad I picked up this one because I was just like, my reasoning was I've been wanting this longer than the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette because honestly I wasn't impressed about the heat palette until I asked my followers on Twitter like I was just like hey y'all help me out figure out what I should get with this gift card in Sephora and people kept suggesting the Naked Heat Palette so I started swatching it and I was like hold up <laughs> this is cute because honestly when I watch reviews and swatches on it the videos weren't doing it justice because I was kind of looking at it like hmm that's alright <laughs> But in person, I was like, "Wow, this is really stunning, actually." So I think I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna go back and get the Urban Decay Naked Palette. But um, for now, not Naked Palette. Um, the Heat Palette or Naked Heat Palette, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and get that uh, palette. But for now, I did get the Modern Renaissance Palette, and I'm excited about actually using it. Um, and hopefully, I'll be able to create. A plethora of looks with it. Next thing I got um, in terms of like drugstore makeup, because honestly that's what I usually wear. <laughs> Most of the time I wear drugstore makeup. I don't usually wear um, high-end makeup because I can't afford that. So <laughs> we're gonna keep it cute and simple, but I was in Target as per usual and I found this palette that is by Profusion and it's called Strobe and Glow 9 Shade Highlight Palette and it has a brush as well and honestly I was captured by the packaging <laughs> because I am a sucker for packaging like I was just like wow this looks really nice for it to only be nine dollars yes nine dollars BT dubs um I was just like this is really sleek and it's really cute and it has a, a wide range of highlight colors. I'm a really good palette for women who are brown, like brown, <laughs> black women, brown women, women of color, because um, it has a lot of golds in it and a lot of like uh, warmer highlights in it. It doesn't really have cool tone highlights. I mean, it has this purple one, it has white one, it has a yellowish one down here, but for the most part, like a pale yellowish one down there but for the most part they're all warm colors and they are so pigmented for it to be only nine dollars and a drugstore palette it is pretty pigmented i'm actually wearing it right now if you can see it i think you can see it but yeah i'm actually wearing it right now um i'm wearing three wishes next up is actually this loose finishing powder that i got from maybelline and this was actually suggested to me by my coworker. Um, she uses this to set her under eye, so I decided to try it out and see how it works for me um, setting my under eye with. And I love it. 
I love, love setting my under eye with this because one, there's no flashback. Two, it looks very natural, but it also provides a great bit of coverage. Um, I would consider this full coverage in terms of like setting powder wise. But it provides full coverage and it still looks natural and it's also affordable because, I mean, it's Maybelline. And honestly, in my humble opinion, I think that Maybelline is probably the best drugstore makeup brand um, because they just consistently put out quality products. Um, so I definitely would recommend this finishing powder. I am in the shade 35 Deep. In case you're wondering, but yeah, I've been using this finishing powder and I am definitely a fan of it. So I will for sure <laughs> be repurchasing this um, setting powder. Last thing I got makeup wise is these Airspun Loose Face Powder that I just keep seeing everyone rave about. And again, I'm going to get a better shot of this, but this is the Loose Loose face powder that I keep seeing everybody just raise cane over. Um, I decided just to get it because it was at Walmart and it's only like $5 and some change. So I just went ahead and bought it. And I'm actually using, I'm wearing it right now. I set my under eye with it. And honestly and truly, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> because I'm looking at myself right now and I'm kind of like, I kind of look real white. <laughs> underneath the eye like I don't know you guys tell me what you think like I'm not sure if I mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I like it or not I don't know I'm not sure we'll see I gotta try it out some more but yeah I got this from Walmart and it was only like five dollars yeah, I lied that's not the last thing I bought <laughs> makeup wise what I did buy lastly makeup wise was actually the Fenty Beauty foundation in the color 390 I believe yes the 390 so yeah I finally finally got my hands on the pro filter Fenty Beauty foundation because oh my god it was such a struggle getting my shade because all the darker shades of the collection kept getting sold out which is understandable because you know they don't be thinking about us when they make their makeup so I get why it was sold out, but it was so annoying. I was like, yo, bruh. <laughs> I need y'all 390 bitches to stop buying up all the shades because I need my little shade or whatever. But finally, finally, people stopped buying <laughs> my shade. So I could finally get my hands on this foundation. And I have used it a couple of times. I'm actually wearing it right now. And I do like it. I do really enjoy it. Um, for me, it's not really full coverage like I've heard people say. I guess it's just it just depends on the person. But for me, it's more like a medium to full coverage foundation. And it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Foundation just a tad bit. Um, especially because my shade in this is pretty similar to my shade in that one. So, um... Either way, it's a, it's a, I like it. I think it was, and I think it's a good price. Like, I think it was, an, I think it was, like, a reasonable price for a high-end foundation. So, I, I mean, there's not, I don't really have much more to say about it. I think it's a solid foundation. I will say, I don't think it's as, like, spectacular <laughs> as people made it out to be. I think it's just, like, you know, it's a solid foundation. Like, I would buy it again. Just for the sheer fact that it's Rihanna and I fucking love Rihanna. So <laughs> I'm going to support her by throwing her my coins. Not that she needs any of my coins because I'm sure she got enough coins herself. But it doesn't hurt to show my support for my girl. So yeah, I would definitely still repurchase this foundation. But um, I, yeah, I think it's just, I think it's a solid foundation. I don't think it's something that I'm like, oh my god, you guys got to go get it right now. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But yeah, no, I do enjoy this foundation. Alright you guys, so we've come to the end of my haul video. If you are still here, shout outs to you. Um, I'm definitely going to come back with more haul videos. God willing, if I can afford <laughs> to buy as much as I did buy. Um, but yes, haul videos will be coming up more often. Um, and 
honestly, tell me what else you guys want to see on my channel because I'm kind of running out of ideas for content for my channel. I do have a couple of bigger projects that I'm trying to do for my channel coming up, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, and... I have a couple of more series that I want to start on my channel, so definitely keep an eye out for those. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with my uploads by clicking that notification button beside the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!